Good morning, boys and girls. This is Teacher Zola from the School of Healing Martial Arts. How are you doing today? How are you doing, Ava and Milana and Koa and Tanya and Russell and Melanie and Namoka and well, Steve and Helen, all my friends. I hope this is a good day for you. Hello, Daniel and Veronica. How are you doing, Charles and Stephanie? Okay, are you ready to exercise today? I hope so. I want to talk not only to the children who may be at home learning from a computer, but also to the older adults like myself, or the older, I should say, kids like myself. But before we get into that, let me again mention Dr. Danny Hoover and Veronica Hoover's YouTube videos that talk about and demonstrate Tai Chi, the fundamentals, and the applications. And also, you should check out SOMA, the School of Healing Martial Arts in Long Beach. Check it out because they may have something that will help you help you. All right. Now, um, many of us are stuck at home doing the computer, especially children. And when you're sitting at the computer, you end up sometimes tightening up and stressing out too, 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 too much. So here's some thoughts that you should consider, ideas you should consider. So let's say we're here, imagine the computer laptop or desktop or iPad, whatever you're working on. One of the things is you can get this type of gizmo to uh, take off your shoes and rub your feet. All right, give yourself a foot massage. This belongs to teacher Odie. I took it from under his desk, I put it back <laughs> in a little bit. All right. But another thing is you're typing away, you know, looking at it. Fortunately, I don't think there are too many that are using an old-fashioned typewriter where we would type and go beep, return, return. You don't have to worry about that anymore. But there is still a bit of carpal tunnel, okay, or repetitive motion, repeated motion that you're doing with the same limbs. So, remember separating heaven and earth? Well, while you're sitting at your desk, why don't you do that? Do a stretch. Hold it for a few minutes, a few seconds back down, do another stretch, and come back down. This is a break that you will need so that you can not stress out, not tighten up your muscles. Look over your shoulder, like Wise Owl looks over your shoulder, leading with your chin, relaxing the neck muscles. And come back to it again. Look over your chin, over your shoulder, leading with your chin. Relaxing the neck muscles, and your shoulder muscles. And come back to the center. These simple stress st stretches can help you de-stress. You can put your arms out, do circles. Ten, one direction, ten, backwards. Pull away from your desk, you can also put your arms up, come up, and then come up, come down, come up, come down. All relaxing 
various muscles in your body, giving you a moment away from the computer screen or the phone screen or the text iPad screen, giving your moment, your time into something different, something that will help you so that your brain will be willing to function because sometimes just going on hour after hour on the computer, it doesn't work. The brain goes, goodbye. <laughs> you, since the, you, you're sitting there sort of like zombie out because you didn't take time to break. So if you have a timer, you know, that doesn't go <laughs> but you have a timer or you can set your phone or your watch or even ask mom or dad or even the kids. Let me know when 20 minutes have passed. Let me when, know when 45 minutes have passed so I can take a break. Tell yourself, Every 45 minutes, I'll take a 15 minute break. And your productivity will go up. You know, those 15 minutes, or even if you take a five minute break, if you're in a crunch and you've got to get something out, the time away from that intense work will actually help you. Okay, it's like playtime. Going off for a minute. And even if you're still at your desk, or if you're at your desk and you have room to stand up, stand up. Do some hip circles. One, two, three, four, and five. The other direction. Doing this, it's not only helping your hips, your back, your legs, all of that, you know? Do some up on your toes. Up on your toes. Oh, which reminds me. I got my new shoes from Karate Mart. Thank you, guys. Yay. Got these. I usually like the other shoes that have a softer heel, but today I also wanted to do a little cardio. And so these have a little thicker heel. Okay. And uh, thank you for... Uh, calling me back. I was having trouble doing it online. So, I got that. If you're in a chair, if you're doing a lot of computer work, take a break. All right. Or even if you're YouTubing or Zooming, if you are on the computer or if you're watching TV three hours at a time, you should have taken a break body, your brain will appreciate it a lot more. All right. You know, or if, when the commercial comes on, take an exercise break. Not run to the to the kitchen or to uh, get some something to eat. Take an exercise break. Not a food break. Just saying. I want you to stay healthy. I want you to be healthy. All right. Now, we've done, talked about Tai Chi in previous videos, but we haven't talked too much about the cardios. And so, when was the last time you did jumping jacks? Now, if it was years ago, stay seated. But if you're a kid kid, and you usually do exercise, do running. Let's do 10 jumping jacks, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go the other way, all right? Let's see if I can go the other way. I don't know if I can go the other way. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. All right. Was that good? That was good. Let's do a little running in place. And try to get your knees up high. Let's run. That's it. Running in place. In place. In place. In place. Running in place. Running in place. So if you can't get out and you don't live on the second floor, 
private building, take a moment and run in place. Now, honestly, you should take time to breathe. So, taking a deep breath in. Let's go into a horse stance. Grab the rubber band. Take a deep breath in and breathe in. And breathe out, collapse the balloon. Breathing in. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. See? got to put enough oxygen in the body so you don't pass out in the midst of your exercise, right? All right? So this is one fun exercise I used to do as a kid, and Teacher Odie and I do it just about every morning. Let's go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We usually do it up to 40. But you can imagine all the muscles that this is working on to help you stay healthy and flexible and exercising your muscles. All right? So I want to end it. As you see, I have a sign. Tai Chi, Tai Chi, learn now. Let's do two ways of doing the 24 Tai Chi Yang. All right? So usually, I like to have the soccer heel shoes when I'm doing Tai Chi. But now, I have more of the exercise shoes for cardio. All right? Got our feet together. Shoulders down, relax, head up. All right, come on, do it with me. All right. Let's, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let me come over where you're at, and I'll go this way, all right? Okay, let's do it this way. Feet together. Ready? Shift your weight right, step out left. Arms up, shoulder roll, arms down as you bend your knees. Shifting your weight to the right, opening up the left toe. Shift your weight to the left, grab the top of the ball, bottom of the ball, and turn it in. Stepping out and back with your left, turning your waist, already the wild horses again. Turning the ball, step out, Party the wall versus me. Shift back, turn, gather the ball, step out, party the wall versus me. Empty step. White crane spreads its wings. Blocking left, blocking right. Brush knee, twist step. Back. Hands are now on the left. Step out. Brush the twist. Step. Shift back. Turn. Both hands are now on the right. Step out. Brush the twist. Step. Up for empty step. Push from the loop. Repulse monkey. Throw the right hand back. Step back left, push off to the front, throw the left hand back. Step back right, push off to the front, turn, throw the right hand back. Step back left, push off front, throw the left hand back. Step back right, push off the front, throw the right hand back, down to the ball, and bring it in. Stepping out and back. Ward off. 
press that verse down. Bring it down, circle, press, clear, push up, and come around, fall. Stepping out, ward off. Grasp that bird's tail, bring it down, circle, press, clear, and push. From the front, single whip, left shoulder back. Right shoulder back, pull out, bring in the foot, and pat. Wave hands like clouds. Left hand up, right hand, step up, bring down the left, bring in the right, step out left, bring in the right, left shoulder back, right shoulder back. Pull out, come in, step out, and pat. Empty step. High pat on fours. Avoid the sweep. Left heel, right heel kick. Hit opponent's ears with both fists. Turn. Now we do the left heel kick. Left heel kick. Brief flamingo. Snake. Brief to the grass. Chest. You want to do rooster stand, grab the branch, step out. I won't go down too low this time, I want you to be able to still see me. <laughs> and go to rooster stand, grab the ball, and this is Great Lady Shuttles to the right, Great Lady Shuttles to the left. Empty step. Needle at the bottom of the seat. Fan back. And turn. Turn. And touch. And clear. And push. And closing. I'm going to do it the other way, towards you, okay? Again, feet are together, but this time, the hands, instead of out to the side, they're pressing against the thigh, middle finger pressing against the thigh. So ready. Shoulders down, look up. Stepping out. And bend your knees as your arms, hands come down, past your navel, shift your weight to the right. Oh, <laughs> let's do this one again. Got so much stuck on the way we do it at Soma. All right, this is how we do it at Lightning Touch. Right. Hi, Margaret, Doug, Lee, Orwan, Saul, David, Peter, Elaine, those folks. Alright, ready. Alright, there we go. This again is party while horse is made. Did you notice the difference in the beginning? Okay. And they work very much on control. Putting down the foot as the hand comes up, mouth, mouth level. White crane spreads its wings. You go down as the hands come up. Just the foot. Block to the left. Block to the right. Bring the foot in. Step out. Brush knee twist step. Both hands are now on the right. On the left. Brush knee twist step. Shift back. Both hands are now on the right. Brush knee twist step. Empty step. From the loot, the false monkey, very similar, except goes in and out and turn on the heel. Go in, go out, turn on the heel. Go in, go out, turn on the heel. Go in, go out, turn on the heel. Grabbing the ball, stepping out, 
pull it off, grasp the bird's tail, bring it down, big circle, press, clear, push, come around to the other right side, crawl, step out, pull it off, grasp the bird's tail, circle, press, clear, push, single whip is different this time, circle, circle, and knife, wave hands, left hand goes down, right hand on the bottom, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, step out, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, and <laughs> single whip. <laughs> Nice. Empty steps. We look at the right hand. Go this way for base strike. Go this way for next strike. We step down. The ground is a little bit uneven right here. But again, we do a right heel kick. We land forward. We hit opponent's ears with both fists. We turn. Okay. And we go for snake creeps to the grass. The hand is right here instead of to the side. We come up uh, for rooster stand. Okay, let me try to get on a little bit more clean ground. Okay. And then remember this hand is here this time. Shuttles, grab another ball, wait eight shuttles, we do the needle at the bottom of the seat, bring in, and back, we do turn, parry, and punch, but we clear underneath this time, we press, we shift back, coming forward, yes. Out to the right, in, step in, out, and instead of just this way, go this way. <laughs> so, uh, Doug and Margaret Robson, Lee and Orwan, I haven't forgotten, totally, just haven't, I don't tend to uh, do that form when I do 24 Tai Chi since I was sort of five or something. Okay, but I'm demonstrating both ways so that you understand that sometimes you'll see 24 form done in different ways. Basically, it'll have the same name, but it'll be just done a little bit different. No right or wrong, just different teachers, all right? So, with that, I hope you remember to exercise when you're sitting for a long period of time, whether it's watching TV, whether you're on a computer, whatever you are doing. Try to take a moment out to relax, to stretch, all right? You know, there was a time when I could go all the way back. But at this point in time, because of the bone structure. I don't do the back bends anymore. But it was so much fun. So again, if you're jumping rope, if you're running, if you're just doing regular walks, take the time out to enjoy what there is. To enjoy the green, be able to see the blue, or hopefully of the sky, even if it's raining. Enjoy each and every moment. Try to find some beauty in each and every moment, okay? With that, as Teacher Zola, wishing you the best of life, a good life, a happy life, a loving life. 
gotta go because I think there's some things that teacher Odie wants to do. Plus, <laughs> I want to put this back under his desk. Bye now.